Hey guys, so today I'm going to take you through a build in the Silverstone CS381 case. Now this case is specifically meant for people doing a NAS or a network attached storage. It's really, really custom made for this type of stuff. You can do so many things with it. It's definitely one of the best solutions on the market. I'm going to do a build on it. Hopefully it can give you guys some ideas. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Have you ever tried to build a network attached storage? So today we're gonna to be doing a build in the Silverstone CS381. Now, this case isn't necessarily a gaming case as we're used to doing, but it's one meant specifically for doing a NAS or network attached storage. Now, you guys may have heard of like Synology or companies like that. Um, basically, that comes already with a unit and you have space for hard drives. But in a lot of use cases, those can kind of add up and be a bit expensive. And you're sort of limited by whatever hardware they give you and whatever hard drive space that you get. Now, in this Silverstone case, you can really build out whatever system you want. I mean, it's perfectly suited for a network attached storage, having multiple, multiple slots for three and a half inch hard drives, two and a half inch hard drives. You can even put M.2 hard drives in this case. There's so much space. It's very, very flexible, and it's definitely meant for doing something like that. Now, when you guys do a build like this for your own NAS system, um, you can basically look on the internet. There's various resources for doing something like free NAS. That's the one I've used and the one that I recommend. Um, of course, it's free and it's not too difficult to set up. You guys can search for a tutorial or something like that. That gets a lot more in depth. In this video, we're basically going to be choosing some components and building it into this case. Um, I'm going to be going with a mini ITX Z390 with an Intel 9600K. Nothing too crazy, but that should be more than enough. And another really cool thing about this Intel Z390 platform, it also has an APU, which is basically an integrated graphics card. So if you don't want to add a graphics card to this build, if you're not going to be dual booting it or using it for gaming, you probably won't need it. Um, the integrated graphics should definitely be more than enough. And that way you can save a little bit of money on a GPU and focus on your hard drives. For the power supply, we're also going to be using a small form factor power supply. This is going to be a 650 watt Silverstone power supply. Bye. It's perfect for a case like this. The cables aren't too long and they're very flexible, so you can definitely get everything in there. And likewise, we're also gonna be using the Silverstone air cooler. Now you can fit in an AIO or even larger in here. Technically, you could even do a little water loop in here if you wanted to do a custom water loop just to have a really cool NAS system. But if you just want something that's gonna keep your processor cool without too much noise, I'm using this AR11 Silverstone cooler. Very easy to set up. It keeps the CPU fairly controlled. You know, nothing's going too crazy in here in terms of heat so we're definitely looking for a very efficient build so we can focus on different hard drives like getting wd red hard drives or even the iron wolf seagate hard drives those are fantastic nas hard drives when you're choosing a hard drive make sure to look at something like that that's specifically meant for a nas just because they're going to perform a lot better for these type of tasks as well as last a lot longer they're built to take these type of workloads that other regular spinning hard drives may not be able to do a hard drive that's meant for a nas like the WD Red or the Seagate Iron Wolf, they have the technology in them to really last a long time and they're able to do all of the tasks that go hand in hand with backing up your hard drives, maybe on a daily basis, hourly basis, whatever you do, these hard drives can usually put up with it a lot better than a regular hard drive. 
So now what's the real benefit of building in a specific NAS case like this Silverstone one instead of maybe getting an off the shelf gaming PC case or something like that and doing a NAS inside of it? Well, this one is really built with that purpose in mind, meaning that all the hard drive space, as you can see how it opens up in the front, it's very easy to pull out a hard drive, put it back in, keep track of everything. You can fit so many hard drives in there. Um, a regular case, usually unless it's a really, really large, large case, you're not going to be able to fit that much hard drive space in there. You may be able to get two or three, three and a half inch hard drives, but then your space is going to be really tight unless you get a massive, massive tower, but then you're building a whole huge system for something that you may not really need. This one, it's fairly small. It's not that large of a case, but it fits so many hard drives in there. Definitely has an optimal amount of room for your hardware. You can fit an AIO in there, your motherboard, even a GPU if you wanted to use this as a gaming computer, like a dual boot purpose or something like that, and not just run the free NAS, you know, down the road if you wanted to change like on a shelf or even in a cabinet if it has good airflow. Um, the form factor is really nice, doesn't take up too much space, but in the same token on the inside you get to fit a lot of hardware in it just because it's perfectly optimized for a NAS system. Now, if you didn't want to do an Intel Mini ITX motherboard, you could also do AMD. Now, if you want to have that integrated GPU instead of having a secondary GPU or you know a physical GPU on the outside, you would have to do something like uh, AMD's 3200G or something like that. If you do like a Ryzen 3600, typically those motherboards do not have any integrated graphics on it. That's a little bit of a difference from the Intel systems. Um, Intel Z490, Z390, you're gonna get that integrated graphics. If you're building a system like this just for storage, you don't really need that beefy of a GPU. You can definitely use your integrated GPU. Um, that way it'll be more than enough to handle these type of like storage tasks. Here, really the primary thing we're looking for is that hard drive. Then of course your network and different connections like that. So for that reason, I would either get an AMD processor like a 32 or 3400G that has integrated graphics or something like Intel, like a Z490 or a Z390. You don't have to go crazy on the CPU. You can get one of the more entry level SKUs. Most of the time they should be able to do these backup tasks just fine. And of course you have room for upgradability in the future. That's what really sets apart using a case like this from something like Synology. That one you're pretty much stuck with whatever processor and RAM and, and everything that you have in there. And then of course, aside from the processor and that integrated GPU, the power supply, you do wanna have a decent amount of RAM at least. Don't go too short on that. It's good to have maybe 16 gigabytes of RAM. I think that should be okay. If you're not doing massive amount of storage space, something like 16 gigabytes should be enough. But do remember the more space that you wanna store, you may wanna go up to 32 gigs or something like that. Your storage space does kind of scale a little bit with the amount of RAM that you have. So kind of look into that before you do the build, just to make sure that you're gonna have sufficient RAM. As you get more storage space, you can always upgrade it in the future, upgrade your RAM, your processor. That's why it's super flexible. So you can build a system like this that's gonna last you many, many years. And of course, using a case like this, it's a very high quality Silverstone case. This alone is gonna last you multiple, multiple years. We're not really needing to upgrade. You can swap the parts in and out very easily to grow with your system. So that's definitely a huge advantage because the Synology systems, while they work out of the box and I have one myself, it's definitely a little bit more expensive in terms of the hardware that you get. Um, and who knows in the future, they might get outdated faster and then you have to buy a whole new unit. And if you only get like a two slot or a four slot, you're really going to be limited by the amount of hard drives you can put in there. While the Silverstone case off the bat, of course, it's going to take you building it, setting up something like FreeNAS. It's going to take a little bit more time, but you're going to have so much more space you can do that you're not really limited by that you can even get creative with some other mounting points so you can fit a significant amount of hard drive space in this case so that's definitely going to be a huge advantage all right guys i hope you enjoyed this build let me know if you have any questions down below remember to like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video